The Highfield Sport and Recreation Park Stage 1 was officially opened on Saturday the 21st of May 2016 with a public grand opening. This is a very historic day I think for Highfields but not only for Highfields, for the broader region. It started in 2010 when the Regional Strategic Sport and Recreation Plan identified a chronic shortage of land for sport in Highfields. For a project of this scale to succeed, a high level of teamwork is essential. And this project represents possibly the greatest level of collaboration in a council project to date. A fact supported by the sheer amount of work that has been undertaken during 12 months construction. 427,523 loose cubic metres of combined material was shifted, all of which was manoeuvred around this site to shape the park that you see today. That's the equivalent of 170 Olympic sized swimming pools, or more than two Olympic swimming pools, moved on site each day. The project team has constructed 1.2 kilometres of external roads. 6,700 square metres of internal roads and car parks have been delivered on site. 46,000 square metres of turf laid. More than four kilometres of irrigation pipe work are installed and more than a thousand trees and shrubs were planted on site so far. And remember this is just stage one, we've still got stage two to go. Stage one development comprised of bulk earthworks, two multi-use sporting fields, ten netball courts, both hard surface and grass courts, and amenities. The park, when completed, will include eight rectangular playing fields with three cricket field overlays, supported by two clubhouses, a netball and tennis court precinct, substantial car parking capacity and walk and cycle path network. To be able to pop up here in an afternoon with the children and yeah, go for a walk, bring the bikes along and go for a cycle, it's wonderful. The grass is really soft and easy to run on. It's awesome. It's really close to all our houses. We're absolutely wrapped that, um, that we've got this site to move to. The vision for this multi-purpose facility is to offer a place for daily activities and training for local residents, clubs and schools, and the future capability to host larger events and carnivals. One of the things I think we all recognise as community leaders is the need for that sort of activity. The need for not only the people who play sport, but the people who want to walk to get fit, the people who want to lose a bit of weight, that kind of thing. It's better for the community if they do that. It's better for the health system and we're providing a facility here for that to happen. This is a magnificent project, the Highfield Sport and Rec Park, and it comes together with a whole lot of community support with the sporting groups, whether it's the rugby, the cricket, the netball, the pony club, uh, and all various sports. Even tennis will be included in stage two of this wonderful sports park. You can see uh, right behind me now with the netball courts and, and how popular they are, just at this stage, the opening of stage one. So who's to know how many people will use this one stage two's done, but it will be set up for this community for many decades to come and it'll also attract lots of uh, outside sporting people to come uh, whether it's a regional state or national events. It really is an exciting project, it's great for Highfields but it's wonderful for our region and lots of people are out enjoying it which is absolutely terrific. <laughs>